Hey, everybody out there in pumpkin land. This is your old pal, Pat O'Brien. And I am Frank Garcia Hale. From the Smashing Pumpcast. And we've been waiting with bated breath for weeks, months, months, months <laughs> for our Sear vinyls to show up. And they finally came. Um, so we, ha- we wanted to get together and do a little unboxing video for everyone uh just for a holiday treat so why not uh, yeah why not mine is the little strip you could see has been ripped off um Mm -hmm. and that's that's because i watched the mailman deliver my thing and he hucked it against the wall violently so even though i knew i was waiting to open it with frank i instinctively rushed and peeled the thing (laughs) off but then i said whoa 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 let's wait so here we go. You're right to do that because uh, remember the first time I got the Airplane Flies High vinyl yeah, it was and it all came up, right? Destroyed. Probably some <laughs> so you were right to open it up. Yeah, some disgruntled yeah. postal worker or something. Or, or we support the USPS, so let's make that clear. Just maybe not that one particular. Yeah, not that bad uh, apple. Okay, so I ripped into this, but as you can see. Okay, yeah, is, just to check. This is the Orchid. Uh, <laughs> nice. Vinyl. Bleeding the orchid. Let's see, yeah, exactly. Let's take a look. Beautiful, beautiful gate. Is that a gatefold? Yep. Gatefold. Back cover. I believe that's the gate. industry term. Yep, the insider term. Mm-hmm. Um, we'll ch- look inside. Ooh, beautiful sort of centerfold there. Sexy, sexy, yeah. sexy centerfold. Ooh, you're going to be hanging that up in your chop shop. My chop, exactly. <laughs> exactly all right and then <laughs> we got the booklet of course nice now are and there there are lyrics in there or what's what's in there out. let's see what's in the let's see okay we got oh yeah starcraft wait a minute hold on this is oh yeah this actually all right this is what the vinyl looks like it probably got the orchid one beautiful wait, there's something weird and there's something else in here i actually got a letter of some kind Oh my god this is this is a letter from santa claus what like the real like that's his real signature <laughs> pat what this is so weird hold on okay what's going okay. on it says dear patrick so mm-hmm. first off love the podcast your deep dive on pi <laughs> <laughs> yeah your your deep dive wow. on, on pisces iscariot really knocked me and mrs claus stockings off we saw the pumpkins wow. on Lollapalooza in 94, and it was mind-blowing. Though we did eat some magic gingerbread cookies we smuggled in under my red and white cat-in-the-hat top hat that I used to wear to festivals and raves in the 90s. So that helped. Hell yeah. Santa, my man. Hell yeah, hey, my man Santa. <laughs> you know what Santa? Yeah, you know he does. <laughs> Check this out. These days, I no longer measure goodness by how naughty or nice a person's been, but by the listener growth and positive reviews of their podcast. And by that metric, you and Frank have been very good boys. As a reward, I have enclosed an orchid vinyl copy of the Smashing Pumpkins new double album, Seer. Wow. So, So far, my favorite tracks are Minerva, Tiger Tiger, and Wrath, because it sounds like Wreath. Ho, ho, holy shit, do I love this record. Whoa. This band's commitment to creative growth and sonic experimentation never ceases to amaze me. And I'm fucking magical. Sorry for swearing. Normally, I don't do that. But then again, normally, I only write these letters to children. So deal with it. Smiley face. Anyway. That bad boy. <laughs> Santa's cool. Anyway, <laughs> happy holidays and congrats on Billy sharing your stuff on Instagram. He blocked me because I kept asking about the guitar tracking process on Siamese Dream. Oh, well. Merry Christmas, your pal, Santa Claus. This is unbelievable. Wow. The real also, Santa, Santa, Claus. Santa should know that's a rookie mistake. You know, if he sees yeah, all, come on. you know, he should know that Billy doesn't like that. No, no, no. Yeah, He's going to use that zombie that. gif on you or right, gif. You, get, you walked into that, Santa. I hate to, you know, maybe you're yeah. new to this, but um wow Wow. that's that i didn't even order like a bonus edition or anything that just came with a letter from santa claus which is weird i paid i paid full pay for for it 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 wasn't so much you paid full price for it the letter was a gift you just thought he'd include the letter and then take credit for it right yeah yeah i think well thank you santa thank Thank you thank you you. we we honor you thank you all right so uh i'm gonna open this bad boy up 
you all right. You got, a, you got a different variation than me, right? You got the, the... I got the pink haze, uh, although I wish I would have gotten the purple blood, purple blood. It wasn't edition because that one looks good. All right. Oh. Hold on. Did you get... Is it a letter from Santa? It's a black and white picture of Depeche Mode. That's weird. Huh. And then there's a letter here. Oh, maybe Santa got hooked us both up. Yeah, maybe. Let me read it. Dearest Frank, while the album package may look like a pink haze copy of Seer, it's actually an unplayable vinyl of Depeche Mode's Black Celebration, since you think we sound so much like it, you dumb simple bitch. Is that, that October? Sound- no, this doesn't sound like Santa. October and Strawberries, the Corganator. Whoa. P.S. The, the podcast sucks. What? P.P.S. Actually, Pat is awesome. You suck. P.P.S. You're banned from listening to the Melancholy Machina sequel album. Dude. Sorry, man. I mean, it's bittersweet because Billy said he liked me, but I mean, you got a letter from Billy Corgan. That's cool, right? Frank? Frank, you okay, bud? Frank. Machina Deluxe reissue. Hmm. 